hello and welcome back to another gameplay video. Today I'm at Imperium Airsoft in Kent on one of their ground war airsoft days. It's kind of like a battle sim but um, more structured. I've once again teamed up with Silly Gilly and his friend James. Our objective is to locate and take our team's fuel can to the tank and then capture and hold a tower for as long as possible. Here I spot the enemy team with their fuel can. Let's see if I can slow them down a little bit. After taking out those three players, I double back, J-hook around, make sure I've not followed. That's me. So it's right to left, yeah? Still gotta wait three minutes. Hit. Oh, Hit. Both sides, yeah. Mm -hmm. that little engagement and myself Silly Gilly and James have been asked to go on to the other team by the marshals um, make up the numbers whether they were balanced correctly I'm not quite sure but um, it was, we've been asked to go on to the blue team so objective still the same um, and we choose to hit this tower next The three of us decide to flank around the right hand side and uh, hit the front of the tower um, so that we can stop the red team from advancing any further.
with Silly Gilly and James on the pathway at the top, they come under fire and try and engage the enemy team. I decide to make my way down the bank and hide in a small cluster of trees in the valley. After taking out the enemy player, I make my way up the bank into the tree line where hopefully I can get a good view of the tower. That enemy player who I just took out has come back. He wants revenge. He thinks I'm still in that small cluster of trees where he got hit from, but um, I'm not there. <laughs> um, he has actually no idea where I am. If I can, and whenever possible, once I've taken out on a new player, I always try and slightly move, even if it's just two metres or five metres, just moving slightly out of position uh, can make all the difference, especially if an, an enemy player that you've just hit out wants to come back and uh, try and take revenge. That small little movement of two metres or five metres can make a hell of a difference in uh, getting an advantage over your enemy Now it's time to move again. I move further into the tree line this time, uh, slightly up in that dark area, and uh, hopefully it's going to give me a, a good view of the tower. I hear a noise behind me to my left. Possibly an enemy sniper has come to try and flush me out. After taking out that player, I can't 
fall back any further. I'll try and stay here for as long as possible, taking out as many players as I can. Once again, I hear noises to my left hand side. Seems to be more enemy players have come to try and flush me out. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> well done. It's the only way you're going to get me out, boys. <laughs> and I get done with an enemy grenade. Uh, there's a five metre kill radius here at Imperium. I think I probably was just inside it. I'm not going to argue about that. I'm just going to take it. Well played to these guys up here. It's the only way you were going to get me. Well, I must have been doing something right for them to send uh, five or six enemy players over to flush out one ghillie suit sniper. But they did the job and uh, well played to them. And it also brings us to the end of another gameplay video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again in the next one.